Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is the eighth episode of the third season of the Diamond Commander League. We play high power EDH with a few restrictions to keep things interesting. The only additional band card in our league is Thassa's Oracle. For episodes 7, 8, and 9, the restrictions are to play a commander from the Modern Horizons 2 set, have at least 10 Modern Horizons 2 cards in your deck, and to exclude mana dorks from your deck. The players are not required to follow these restrictions, but it is encouraged. With that, let's check out our commanders and our goals for our decks today. First, we have Jordan playing Lonus Cryptozoologist. Jordan's goal is to make a ton of clues and then use Lonus's ability to take the best creatures he can from his opponents. So many creature types, so little time. Jordan's starting hand includes Felwar Stone, Nettle Cyst, Scavenging Ooze, Thought Monitor, an Island, and Two Forests. Second, we have Carlos playing Livio, Osworn Sentinel, and Kadama of the East Tree. Carlos's goal is to play white and green creatures with good ETB effects, and then use Livio's ability with Kadama out to do it again. Livio's oath is now to the Kadamas, and it won't be broken. Carlos's starting hand includes Arcane Signet, Knight of the Autumn, Revelark, Great Oak Guardian, Two Plains, and a Forest. Third, we have Jeff playing U3 Fortune's Flame. Jeff's goal is to get Ustri out as quick as he can to take advantage of his ability to draw cards. He also has a coin flip sub-theme in the deck. A 3% chance isn't so bad, especially if you have a thumb or two lying around. Jeff's starting hand includes Jeweled Lotus, Soul Ring, Izzet Signet, Fiery Gambit, Goblin Trap Runner, Fiery Islet, and Flooded Strand. Fourth, we have Bryce playing Chatterfang Squirrel General. Bryce's goal is to make all the tokens he can, to make tons of squirrels, and then set up one of his few combos to close out the game. Chatterfang does not discriminate between tokens. His squirrels will take from everyone equally. Bryce's starting hand includes Skull Clamp, Three Visits, Forerunner of the Coalition, Overgrown Tomb, Woodland Cemetery, a Swamp, and a Forest. All right, let's play some magic. Untap, forest, pass. Draw a card, planes, and pass. Draw, play a flooded strand, crack it, go get a steam vents. I'm gonna bring that into play untapped. I gotta take my damage. And then I'm gonna play jeweled lotus, crack jeweled oh, lotus no. for three red out of blue. And here comes my commander. Go, Bryce. Draw, overground tomb, I'll take two. Then I will tap it to play Skull Clamp. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. I will play an island and then cast myself a Felwar Stone. I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play a forest. I will tap them for Arcane Signets and pass. Draw. Bryce is probably going to kill me no matter what I do. So let's attack Bryce now. And I'm going to choose five. All right. First roll dash flip. Two. Win. Four, win, six, win. What the heck? Oh my god. Oh, there's my three. So I lose four <laughs> and I went on five. So wow. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. That's great value. What, drawing four cards? Yeah, I, four, I think so. Four cards for two damage? Yeah, that's good. First thing I'm going to tap the island to play a soul ring. I'm going to use the soul ring, play into a signet. going to use the steam vents to charge up the signet to then play out my tavern scandrel. Bryce, it's your turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Woodland Cemetery. I'm going to play Unmarked Grave. Go search my library for a non-legendary and put it into my graveyard. Blood Artist. I go? Yep, oh. here go. All right, untap. Rah. Let's play forest number two, and I will cast my commander. I will follow it up with a scavenging use trigger, and I will pass. Untap, draw, forest. I will play Knight of Autumn and choose the destroy an artifact mode on the soul ring. Then pass the turn. Draw. I'm gonna tap the <laughs> island in the signet and play crux thumb. Go to attacks. Attack with these three to Carlos. I'm gonna choose five again. Do you have two dice? I do. First. And I lost. Win two on wins. Two. Win on three. Lose on four. Win on five. Four damage, three cards, and six treasure. I'm gonna play fiery is lit top the steam vents and then use three treasures. Play out my goblin trap runner. Pass my turn. Tap upkeep draw. Let's give everybody forest. I'm gonna tap three and play eternal witness to get the blood artist back in my hand. Pass turn. Untap. Draw. I'm gonna play myself a reliquary tower and then I'm going to tap out to play thought monitor. So clue. 
I have two artifacts, and then three, four, five, six, seven to cast them. I'll come into play, trigger, get myself a second clue, and I will draw two cards. I'll just pass. I will untap and draw a card, play a planes for land for turn. I'll pass the turn. Tap, I draw, and I'm gonna play Jessica's Will. So I'm gonna target Jordan for the mana. So another response, so I'm gonna get six mana and exile the top three. Felwer Stone, Prismatic Vista, and Island are the exiles. I'm gonna play Chance Encounter with four of the two red. All right, with the remaining two, I'm gonna play Felwer Stone. And then I'm gonna go to combat. I will respond there with Solitude on your usury. And in response, play Chain of Vapors, bounce Usury back to my hand. I'm gonna talk with this to Bryce because I feel like I have the best chance of Bryce not blocking actually, but he probably yep. thumping. <laughs> Bryce says that though, so I get to roll three times and then I get to put in three goblins that are going to be tapped and attacking along with them for the first roll. Uh, you lose. Oh, no way. No way. way. That's sad. All right, uh, for my land for turn, I'm going to play my island. I'm going to recast my commander. And you can go now, Bryce. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play a swamp. Tap the swamp for a green. And the Yavo Maya Crater for the green as well. Play three visits to go get a forest. I'm going to play a forerunner of coalition, which is going to let me go get pitterless plunder and put it on top of my library. That's my turn. I will pay three. And I will cast Trail of Evidence. So whenever I cast an instant or sorcery spell, I get to investigate. I will then play a Thornwood Falls tapped, but I do gain a life from that. I will just hold up some mana and bath. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to play Yasharn, Implacable Earth. So players can't pay life or sacrifice non-land permanents to cast spells or activative abilities. I'm going to sacrifice my two treasures for two blue mana, and that's my response to it entering the battlefield. Basic flames and a basic forest into hand. I will then play a forest for land return, and I guess I do just play Livio. In response to playing Livio, by the way, I'm going to Cyclonic Rift, and I'm just going to bounce the Yasharn. Okay, best turn. Draw, and I'm just going to attack in the air at Bryce. Right, here we go for one. Win. Two. I won. Win for three. We're get doing it. Win for four. And win for five. And I have to draw my five. The first thing we're going to play is Ristic Study. The next card's going to be Frenetic Ifrit, a 2 1 flyer, but has a really fun ability of to beat for zero. And I get to flip a coin. And then target opponent calls heads or tails. If I win the flip, he uh, Frenetic Effort phases out. Otherwise, I have to sacrifice Frenetic Effort if I lose. So I'm going to play Fiery Gambit, and I get to flip a coin. If I win the first one, it does three damage to target creature. If I win my second flip, it does six damage to each opponent. If I win, in my third flip, I get a draw nine and untap all my lands. We're gonna do the first one to win, and I have to win all three. If I lose any of them, it just does nothing. Oh, it well, it does nothing if you choose not to stop. And that's a win. Ooh, we'll do three damage to Solitude. Six to each of you, and then I will draw nine. And I won three more, so I have 16 treasures. I won three more, so I'm at eight on chance encounters. I'm gonna do Frantic Search to draw two. I'll discard a Scalding Turn and a Mountain. Playing so, Bill. So we draw a new seven. I'm gonna Reality Shift the Gambler guy, which is gonna trigger and give me a... Hold on, we're gonna Deflecting Swap that. It'd be a lot cooler if you didn't. <laughs> Well, it's reality shift. Bryce is pirate still. Um, okay, so Wheel of Fortune. We all draw seven. Did you guys like your hands? Nope. Oh, it's okay. No, it's yeah, it's the greatest hand ever. <laughs> Best hand ever. He's gonna. Oh yeah, thank hand. you. Please do it again. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we're gonna do Winds of Change. <laughs> I was not joking. I'm grateful. We're going to play Sin Size Divine Top. We're going to play a Niv Mizzet. I'm going to use one of my mana to look at the top three cards. We're going to play Fabricate. So I get a draw card from Niv Mizzet. Is that the one that deals damage to us? Yes. So whenever I draw a card, I get to do one damage to any target. Bryce, the damage is coming at you. I get to use my Fabricate. I go search for an artifact and put it into my hand. Do a Mana Crypt. And then I'll cast the Mana Crypt. Wheel of Misfortune. Who wants to gamble with me? If you want to wheel... You want to be not the lowest place. You really want to wheel, you're going to choose 5, 10 life. If you don't want to wheel at all, you choose zero and you won't wheel no matter what. And if you maybe want to wheel, then you choose somewhere in between. One, two, three. Jeff and I will wheel. I will take nothing. I'm going to play Niv Mizzet the Fire Mind. Then we're going to go gambling again. Stitch in time. Take an extra turn. I actually had a draw, by the way, when I cast. I got to do two damage, too. We're doing two more damage to Bryce. 
So I get an extra turn after this one. Let's see up to nine. To 18 here. Draw one from the cast. I gotta draw two from Faithless Looting. I'm taking three. And I get to discard. And then you just draw your entire deck and you're gonna kill both me and Carlos. We have 79 life, a cumulative. You have 40 cards in your deck and you flip your Ifrit infinite times. As long as both niv Mizzets live, then we're dead for sure. 41. There you go. <laughs> it felt like every is it leader was out there at the end of the game. All I could ask myself was, is it over yet? For game two, Jordan's starting hand includes Arbor Elf, War of Invention, Blue Sun Zenith, Far Haven Elf, Thought Monitor, Wirewood Lodge, and a Forest. Bryce's starting hand includes Reanimate, Vampiric Tutor, Fertile Ground, Lightning Greaves, Arasta of the Endless Web, a Swamp, and a Chitter Spitter Mulligan to the bottom. Jeff's starting hand includes Lotus Petal, Mystical Tutor, Fiery Gambit, Imperial Recruiter, niv mizzet Perun, Command Tower, and Prismatic Vista. Carlos's starting hand includes Wall of Blossoms, Wood Elves, Tamir Sabertooth, Bane of Progress, Canopy Vista, A Plains, and A Forest. Let's check out game two. Drop. I'm gonna go Forest into Arbor Elf. I'm in the door. Draw, play a Verdant, crack it, to go get my Overground Tomb untapped. Check it out. Last turn. Draw. Uh, we'll do my own crack and search, and I'm just going to go get an island, and then I'm passing my turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to play a forest and pass. Draw. I will play a Wildwood Lodge. Tap to add one, or tap a green, tap it to untap an elf. Tap our elf forest, and I'm going to cast myself a Bar Haven elf. Go get an island and put it onto the battlefield. Pass the turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to play a Vampiric Tutor. Draw. Tap to... Put a fertile it on this swamp or fertile ground. Pass turn. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna go tutor myself. I'm gonna get a swan song so you guys all know that it's going to my hand. Play out a command tower, play out a lotus petal. We're gonna sack the lotus petal and go all in on the gambling, guys. All right, I'm done. Go, Carlos. Draw for turn. Play a plains, play a, a wall of blossoms, draw a card, pass the turn. On tap. I like flooded grove. I'll play flooded grove. And then I will tap four and I will play Sasa Deep Dwelling. It is the blink at the end of my turn. And then I'd like to go to combat. Bryce, you have no blocker, so I'll attack you with a 1-1. One, one. I'll take the one. I will, in my turn, trigger Thassa, blink the Far Haven, go get myself another island and pass. Draw, and then I will play Atrasta of the Endless Web. Whenever one of you cast an instant or sorcery, I get a 1-2 spider with reach. And then I will pass turn. Draw. I'm going to go attack Carlos. We'll start the rolling. I'm going to go for five, and let's see what happens. Lose, 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 win. Eight life for one card. That's what I'm talking about. Where was this last game? It will keep happening. <laughs> Pass, go. Untap, draw. Let's do a planes and we'll do what else? And I'll go get a canopy vista. And then I'll use that to cast a Llanowar Elves and then I'll be done. Untap, draw. Forest for the turn. I'd like to cast my commander. I'm going to play Quarreling Oracle. For sugar, I'll get myself a clue. And then I will reveal the top card is Karn, Scion of Urza. I'll go ahead and just draw that. That will be the end of my turn. So I get a Thassa trigger and I want Orling Oracle to come back in. So I'll get another clue. Reveal Master of the Ethereum and draw. I will pass the turn. Untap. Nope. Keep. Draw. I'm going to tap two here to play a Lightning Griefs. And then tap two to play Blood Artist. And then I will go to equip the Lightning Greaves to the Blood Artist. I'm gonna attack Jeff for three, and then I will pass turn. Draw. Carlos, you took two for me last turn, by the way. Yep, another two? No, so I'm gonna have to go back at Bryce since he doesn't have fire blocker for me now. For one, lose. Two, it's a one, I lost. Three, it's a lose. Four is a win, there we go. Five is a lose. This is what we like to do. Get another island. Play a Dockside Extortionist. Bryce, you got three. I got two enchant. Yeah, three. I'll go ahead and crack a clue and draw a card. So I'm getting five total. But we're just going to go all in and cast Niv Mizzet. Carlos, you're up. Untap, upkeep, draw. Do a wind swept Heath return. I'll crack it. Lose a life. Go get a forest. Play Mirror Sabertooth. I'll attack Bryce for one. That will be my turn. Untap. Oh. 
and Harmonicon. Oof. I will play my land for turn. It will be the Rhymewood Falls, the snow dual land that comes into play tap. I'll go ahead and I will cast Master of the Ethereum. That will trigger me getting two clues. My turn to go to attacks. Mr. Bryce, let's hit you with both my Coraline Oracle and Farhaven Elf. How much is that? Just two. I'm going to target the Farhaven Elf with Thassa. I'll go get two lands and make two more clues. Uh, yeah, uh, that's okay. my instep. Hunt up of creep draw, it's like Shatterfang. Go to move Lightning Greaves over to Shatterfang. I will pass turn. This board state is not ideal for me. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to attack with uh, Ustry at you, Jordan. I will go ahead and activate Lonus. Ustry triggers on the stack is what you mean, right? Yeah, okay. that trigger on the stack. I'm going to stack all five clues. I'm going to target Carlos. You're going to reveal the top five cards of your library. I get to play a non-land permanent from among them with X or less and I get to put it onto the battlefield. Uh, Panharmonica. I will take a second Panharmonica. By five before damage to Jordan anyways. Win. Win. Lose. Lose. Win. Three cards, four damage. Where's the Perun damage going? I draw the cards. One's definitely going to the Blood Artist. So we'll do one to Farhaven and one to Quailing Oracle. So I'm going to take two for my Scalding Tarn. I'm going to play a Phantasmal Image. I'm actually going to copy Thassa. Well, I'm going to do a uh, Red Ems Elemental Blast, and I'm going to target uh, Lonus, which lets me do one more damage, which we will do to Arbor Elf. I'm going to discard a Mirage Mirror. We're going to blink Dockside. I think it's six. The end of my turn. End of turn. I'm going to bounce the Wood Elves to my hand with Sabretooth. Untap. Draw a card. I will play a Fortified Village, revealing a forest. Land for turn. At six. A Bane of Progress. I'm actually just going to respond to just sack all my treasures. What colors are you adding? Three of each. I get a counter for each of your Thassas, even though they're not destroyed. How many did you lose, Jordan? Four. And Jeff? One. I'm going to tap my island, and I'm going to cast Cyclonic Rift. I'll get to play a Ladawar Elf. What? <laughs> that puts me at seven, and I'll pass the turn. Untap. Rock. First thing I do is replay Thassa. I'll go ahead and recast my commander. Pass the turn. Blink. Oh, I'm in the end of your end step. We're going to tap that to play Noctur's Revival, putting Vampiric Tutor on top of my deck. Untap, upkeep, draw. I will play Reanimate, targeting Astra of the Endless Web, losing four life, and tap two for a spawning pit. Then I will pass turn. I think it's possible I kill myself this turn. You have 10 life to spare. I, I do. I'm going to pay three. I'm going to play out Tribute Mage. No responses. I'm going to go get the thumb. Don't forget, Jeff, you do have a ping trigger off of Niv Mizzet. Yeah, if I'm going to ping anything, it's going to be Carlos's elf. No, then else. All right, I'm going to put it into my hand and then I'm going to cast it. And we're going to attack in the air at Carlos. Here we go. Win. 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 Lose. No, <laughs> Lose. Drew three, by the way, so I get to do three more damage back to Lonus. I mean, I did remind you at the beginning of the turn, so, you know, it'd be cool if you didn't and you kept her alive for a turn. You can just throw it at my face. I'm okay taking three to the face. Fine, that's deal. Three to your face. I'm just going to blink Dockside, get three treasures, and I'm going to discard at the end of my turn. All right, Carlos, you are back up. Untap, pupkeep, draw. Bring no progress. In response, I will sacrifice three treasures for three blue mana. All right, no counters. Carked thumb is gone. So one right. from Jordan, two from Bryce. How many from you, Jeff? Uh, technically, it's me two because the thumb and Thassa. And I'll play a forest for land for turn. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Oh, I want to tap six. Past Word of Invention. X is three. Take one to your face, Jordan. All right, I'm not hearing any counter spells, so I'm going to go ahead and give a searching. Yeah, I'm going to cast uh, Graph Mole. So whenever I sacrifice a clue, I gain three life. That gives me another treasure, another food, oh, and another clue. I'm going to put Thought Monitor on the stack. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can sacrifice the treasure for a blue. Cast it. Draw two cards. I will play my Thornwood Falls. Enter the battlefield, I'll gain one life. Thassa will trigger. I'll target Thought Monitor. Go ahead, blink Thought Monitor. Draw two more cards, make more dudes. And treasures. Dude and clue. Untap, upkeep, draw. I play far seek. Oh, that's a sorcery there, Bryce, right? Yeah. What does he have over there? So my low toughness is either L Lonus or Thought Monitor. 
Let's just do one to your face, Jordan. All right. And I will pass turn. Draw. I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to play Imperial Recruiter. Uh, I'm going to go get my friendly little Goundrel. Play that. When you enter your going into combat space, I'll activate Lonus. Sacrifice my four clue tokens and target Carlos. And hope to hit Solitude. Oh, Yasharn. He's going to enter the battlefield that will trigger a clue, a treasure, and a food. And I also gain 12 life for sacrificing all my food. And you can search for a basic plains and a basic forest. We're going to attack with you three at Bryce. And then we're going to do five. For one, lose. Two, lose. Oh, I oh, forgot man. you don't have the thumb. Oh, dang. Yeah. Three. No lose. way, no way, no way. No. Please, come on, come on. No way. Four, lose. No way. Oh. Six oh, one. Oh, 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 Where's wow. the damage going? We'll keep doing it to Jordan's face because I don't like that he's gaining life and doing things. I'm gonna blink the dock side. How many do you have there for me? Well, from me. Other than that, I'm gonna pass. Draw for turn. I will play a wall of loss. Draw a card. I'll pass. And that draw. I would like to cast a Blue Sun Zenith for four. I'm going to draw off of it first. I'm going to deflecting swat it. For the other one damage, I'm going to do it to the flyer. I'm going to cast this, and then I'll do another damage as well to the flyer and draw off of this. I'm going to choose me to target for the draw four now, right? Yep. And off of the draw four, I'm going to target those four at Yasharn. The tap D3 made green, this one for blue. I'm going to cast Porticol. Trigger the visit. I'll deal one to Lonus off of that. I'm going to fierce guardianship the quarter calling. Deal another one to Lonus. Lonus is dead. Resolve the stack. Sharn is gone. For sake of time, I'm going to go tutor now since you can't do the Lonus thing. I'm going to go ahead and tutor and I'll kill the wood elves. So I'll cast Amphibian Mutineer and this will target Niv Mizzet. That enters the battlefield and then he's targeting the exile. <laughs> and I get a pretty little 4 3 off of it if I remember right. Mm -hmm. I got a flyer, so I'm still alive. Yeah, you need to get rid of the flyer. I can no longer attack you. Wait. I'll go ahead and play myself a forest for turn. I'll go to my instep. Thassa will trigger my Amphibian and I will get rid of being a progress, Carlos. Not his creatures and stuff. I'll promise not to blink it if you take care of his stuff. Okay. Here, let's get rid of uh, Doc's side, and I will pass the turn. Upkeep, draw. I'm gonna tap three for a slime foot to stow away and pass turn. Going to a tap draw. Well, let's start off by playing just a simple little mountain. Tap two islands. I'm gonna play Cursed Totem. I'm gonna play Mirror Maid. I am going to copy your artifact creature. I'm gonna use two treasures to play Fiery Gambit. Two, which means a win. So I do get two more treasure tokens and I lose. So Fire Gambit has no effect. I get two treasures, which means I also get two food and two clues. Pass from here. That's the trigger. Part of the fast, though. I'm gonna blink Imperial Recruiter. I'm gonna go grab a dual caster. You have to discard another card. I'm also I'm gonna get discard. I will play a village bell ringer. Untap. Draw for turn. All right, Jordan. You want me to blink? Bain of progress. No, it's not ideal for you, but it does force Jeff. That is very true. Yeah, that's fine. I'll crack two more treasures. Uh, actually, 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 real quick. I can make it worth your while and do it at the end. Okay. I'll hold on. Then I will cast Livio of Sworn Sentinel. I will do a turn. Untap. Draw. Will you please do it now? Ready. Three and four. Cast story. Yeah, I'll sacrifice two treasures to float two blue. Thing while it's on the stack. Let's Sorry, it's a, a cast spell. It's not in play. It has enter the battlefield effect, so it doesn't go off until in play. Uh, I'm going to sack my treasures to sacrifice my clues and food. How many treasures do I need to sacrifice? Two cards and six life. Enter the battlefield trigger. It will target the Bane of Progress. Ability will go on the stack. So that I guess I'll sacrifice six treasures. After those resolve, ability will resolve seven from Jordan. And how many from you, Bryce? I have zero. Jeff? It's going to be three from me. And I'm destroying two and keeping Thassa. And I then cast with my two blue, ongoing investigation. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal common damage to a player, I get to investigate. And then I can pay one in a green and exile a creature card from my graveyard, and I get to investigate again. And then you two life on top of that. I need to go to combat. And then Bryce, I, I'm sorry, but I do need to get some clues, so I am going to come at you. How many is that? There's a 2-4 and a 3-3. Three, three. So you can block the 2-4 and take three, and then I'll get my... Yeah, card. I'll jump, and then I'll take three. That gives Jumping? me... Not jumping, he meant block. Block. Um, cast Lonus. I will play land for turn. It is my Tanglewood. I will go to my instep. Thassa will trigger and I'll target Amphibian. Let's hit his one, dude. 
Scoundrel? Yeah, Scoundrel. With that entering the battlefield, I will get full pass. Untap, upkeep, draw, cabal coffers, shatterfang, pass turn. You're still alive. I am alive. That's that's the important thing right now. Play another mountain, play four, and play Phyrexian Metamorph. As it enters the battlefield, so I'm going to have it be a copy of the Amphibian Mutineer. And I'm going to have it exile Restoration Angel. I'm going to go to my end step. Bass is going to trigger. I'm going to target the Phyrexian Metamorph, have it re enter as the Amphibian Mutineer again, and target Carlos's commander. I'm going to put an Aegis counter on my Wall of Blossom. And then I have to discard. I'm discarding a uh, War of Invention. And go. Draw. I'll go to combat. I'll attack you with a 12 12, a 4 3, and another 4 3 Salamander, Jeff. I'll block with my Salamanders. One to each of your Salamanders, and then the other Salamander to the Bane of Progress. Play Horizon Canopy for turn. Cast Slash the Rings. And I'll pass the turn. End of your turn. I'm going to activate Ongoing Investigation three times. I will exile Arborel, Corlin Oracle, and and make three more untap draw i will cast cameo's journal i'll sacrifice three and i'll go get shrieking drake i'm going to shortcut it but if, effectively i am tapping six mana to bounce shrieking drake six blue six i now have a total of eight clues which i will then activate to target you carlos so we have a planes an arcane signet a wall of omens a solitude an eternal witness and a timeless witness wow okay. i'll choose timeless witness. timeless witness comes in i get a clue i will pay three cast academy rector which will then get me a treasure a food and a second clue blink academy rector get one more of each so now i have three clues academy rector on block untapped and passing the turn untap cape draw i'm gonna tap that to make three there's five and i'll play a doubling season your turn jeff <laughs> let's try win still here comes the wheel oh there goes my shrieking drake <laughs> yep. draw seven I'm gonna play Flooded Strand and go crack that. Playing Sensei to Bank Top. I'm gonna tap one more to go look at the top three. I'm gonna tap this draw card. Put this on top. Just because Will. Which opponent are you gonna pick? We're gonna pick Bryce. I have to exile the top three, by the way. I'm gonna play the Sensei to Bank Top back out for one of the seven. I'll use another one of the seven to go down to five to look at the top three. I'm gonna tap this draw, put that down, add one blue. So I'll use the blue plus three, so I have two remaining. Uh, Sakashima enter as a copy of Lonus. I'm gonna use one of my two remaining red mana and play Pyroblast and we'll blow up Lonus. Lonus is down. And that is my turn. Oh, and then I'll blink use three and I will create a clue token. I'm going to cast generous offer targeting Thassa. Then I'll draw for turn. The Temple Garden is land for turn. I cast Tragic Arrogance. For each player, I choose from among the permanents that player can choose an artifact, a creature, an enchantment, and a planeswalker. Then each player sacrifices all other non-land permanents he or she controls. For myself, I have no targets. For Jordan, Thassa will be the enchantment. Timeless Witness will be the creature. Food will be your artifact. Wait, what does that other enchantment do? Whenever one or more creatures you control deals damage to a player, investigate, and then may pay one and a green, exile a creature from my graveyard, gain two life, which I forgot to do, and investigate. Oh, okay, that's six life. When do they go off? Because I would like sacrifice clues. Once you start resolving the spell, then no other things can go on stack. So I would just sacrifice a clue to draw a card. I'm just drawing a card. I'll let you keep ongoing investigation. Then Bryce, you keep for two things because there you don't have any other enchantments, right? Then which creature? You can keep you three. And is that clue your only artifact? Right, yep. I'll cast Elvish Visionary. Draw a card. I'll cast Sword of Hearth and Home. And then I'll pass the turn. Yeah. Untap, draw, rejuvenating spring. All right, I think we start by playing Lonus. Go to combat, Carlos. Let's hit you. Yeah, I'll buck. I will then cast Wave Sifter. At the end of the battlefield, it generates two clues on its own. But since I have Lonus out, it will give me three. I will pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna tap these for three. I'll use one to play Alter the Brood. Then the other two to play Golgari Signet. You guys mill one. And then I'll play my land. Then you mill again. That's another permanent. And then I'll do this to play Cryptolith right. You guys mill again. Then tap for three. You'll get a human, which will trigger twice because of doublings. Four squirrels. All I can do is pass turn and hope stuff stays around. That means this is well balanced as long as it's going. Pass turn. It's my turn. 
the fire mind. I think that is it for me right now. So yep. uh, uh, I'll cast Seedborn Muse. Then I'll cast Livio Oathsworn Sentinel. And then I'll pass the turn. End of your turn, Carlos. I'm going to reality shift Seedborn Muse. Manifest. Yep. On top. And draw. Eternalize is seven mana. So correct me if I'm wrong, but Inspiring Sanctuary will help me do Eternalize because I am casting a spell. And our artifact spells you have have improvised. I don't think it affects it in the graveyard. Oh, that's a good question. And then Eternalize is exile it, make a 4-4 four, four token. Yes. All right, I will grab Shrieking Drake, pop it up like that to show that it, it's been internalized. Going to combat, Carlos, you have no flyers? No flyers. All right, coming at you for three in the air. No blocks. That deals the damage. I will make another clue token. And then I will tap two clues and a forest to cast Uvenwald Mysteries. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, I get to investigate. And then whenever I sacrifice a clue, put a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token onto the battlefield. I will shortcut Shrieking Drake three times and make three more clues. So that will give me a total of six clues that are untapped. And then with that, I have a total of eight clues that I can sack at a moment. And I will pass the turn. Draw. I'm going to tap eight for Razakath. I'm going to pack that. Ooh, my land for turn, I'm going to play Bajuka Bog, and I'm going to get rid of Carlos's graveyard. And a permanent enter, do you mail one? Yeah. Roll through the brute. Have a graveyard again. What? Tap these two and this to play a fecundity. Tap this and use one swamp to activate Chatterfang, sacrifice a squirrel. I'll target your manifest creature. Then a creature of mine died, I'll draw a card, then I'll trigger here as well, so you guys lose a life and I'll gain a life. I'll use another one of that floating, and I'll target Livio, and then trigger, trigger, draw a card, you guys lose a life, I'll gain a life. And then I'll use that last one to do the same. Target. I'm Livio again. That will kill it. Bird. Your turn, Jeff. Uh, for my draw as well, I'm going to do a one damage to Shatterfang. I'm going to flash back the space of Sluting. Drop two, discard two. And I'll do two more to Mr. Chatterfang. Trigger, trigger. With my one mana remaining, we'll play a Mystic Remora. And then we will play a Polluted Delta for my land for turn. I will pass. Yeah. Draw a card. No, here comes Kadama shenanigans. We'll tap two, equip my manifest creature. Attack Bryce for four with protection from green and white. So I'll tap a treasure in my food. I'll cast Crows and Grip on your sword, Carlos. Okay. Oosh. So minus two. Then I will play Lightning Greaves and Swift Foot Boots. Last turn. End of your turn, I'm going to sacrifice eight clues and target you, Carlos. I will get eight 1-1 one -one soldiers. There is Solitude, Revelark, Mast Admirers, Angel of Serenity, Avacyn's Pope. I'll choose the angel. That's going to trigger. That's going to give me a clue. When that enters the battlefield, Jeff, I'll exile your commander and your niv -Mizzet. I will responsible draw a card and deal one damage to you, Jordan. Then I am exiled. This is my 5-6 flying angel. Untap, draw, go to combat. I'll send three of it to Jeff with my 3-2 flyer. Yeah. And then I will send my 4-4 four, four timeless witness and my 5-6 angel at you, Bryce. Like nine. I'll also send my eight one one uh, soldier to tokens at you, right? Me? Investigate once from ongoing investigation. That makes me two clues. I can get eleven dudes with shrieking Drake. Back in the forest because I have the flooded grove that I'll make into a uh, island. I will cast my shrieking Drake eight times and get a total of eight more clues past the turn. Untap upkeep draw. I tap one of these to activate this. and tap the other one for green. Play eternal witness. I'll get spawning pit. I'm gonna play necrotic hex. Each player sacrifices six creatures. You create six tapped two two black zombie creatures tokens in response i'm gonna sacrifice three to put six charge counters on spawning pit because of doubling season there's my zombie i got 12 of those dudes and then i have triggers here as well i get to draw three cards off of fecundity and you guys take three and i gain three you'll mill 12. i'm gonna pay one and a spawning pit to take two off and then get to spawn artifact tokens because of this and you guys mill two i'll sack one of those two two spawns that it created drain you guys for one and i'll gain one draw a card you sacrificed your untapped creature you're, you're right i'm sacrificing last turn all right untap upkeep and draw i'll play harmonic sliver and i'll target uvenwald mysteries 
We will go ahead and sacrifice 10 blues and target you one more time, Carlos. There is a Sun Titan, Column Simulacrum, Ragtus, All of Omens, Banisher Priest. I need to take the Sun Titan. Sun Titan will end the battlefield. I'll get a clue token. And that gets me back Academy Manufacturer, which now gives me another clue, a food, and a treasure. No. Cast Divine Reckoning. I am oh. going to spell that. I'll play Command Tower as my land for turn. I'll equip Lightning Greaves to my Harmonic Sliver. Yes. Untap. Draw. All right, we will play Yava Maya Coast. Force, force, force. I am going to play Eternal Witness right now, and I'm going to target Counterspell. Counterspell will go to my hands. I get one of everything. I am then going to cast Adrix. When I cast a Drake, I'm going to get one of each token, and then this doubles it, and then Academy Rector is going to see all three of those new tokens and like just pump out a billion artifacts. So yes, I will now have infinite mana and infinite everything. Then you can draw your deck. I actually am going to do just that. Crystal Shard. When I cast Crystal Shard, I will bounce Eternal Witness to my hand, recast it to get okay. back Ruth Sun. Hey, in response, just so I say, made you lose 13 life, I'm going to sacrifice all of these and get 26 okay. charge counters on Spawning Pit, and I will draw... 13 cards. And then with my infinite mana and infinite clues, I'm going to make Bryce draw more than his deck. This will now get shuffled into my library, which I only have one card. Sacrifice a clue. Get back. Blue Sun Zenith. Carlos, make you draw more than your deck. Please. Congrats to Jordan for the win on game two, but it's never fun when your opponents play your deck better than you do. I'm going to upgrade the deck for the future because Livio and Kadama deserve a second chance. For the few of you that are still watching at the end, please smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and consider checking out our Patreon. For $2, you become a part of our Ronin tier. You get access to our Discord. We play monthly games uh, together, EDH games as a, as a group. And there's a lot of other things too. Uh, I think you'll really enjoy it. Either way, thanks so much for watching and keep it nerdy.